puts lots of cash in our pockets. You look nervous. We better hurry and get you to sign. Or I'll pretend to ruin your credit with one phone call. Predatory lenders are never this easy to spot. Call us and protect yourself with the facts. Online predators make their way into homes uninvited and unnoticed. Help delete online predators. To learn what you can do to protect your kids' online life, visit cybertipline.com. And we're back. And again, we thank you for staying tuned. We have Donna Dugard. She's talking about an organization she worked for that are concerned about seniors. And, and you know, the good thing about it is we should appreciate seniors more than we do. Mm -hmm. we, we, we should do all we can for seniors. If, if it wasn't for the seniors, a lot of us wouldn't be here today. Oh, I, I, I know my grandmother looked out for me because uh, uh, every year I used to go uh, away to, 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 to the country on mm -hmm. the farm, and she took care of me. She fed me. She, she taught me the things about, about the farm, and I asked yeah. her so many questions. I guess she was ready for me to leave because I asked <laughs> so many questions, but I really appreciated my grandmother. A wealth of knowledge. Uh, that's yeah, that's yeah, and... and, and, and Grandmother, gra grandparents are different from, from parents. They, they, they're yeah. very doting, so they'll, they'll, they'll even say. take you away from your parents. Don't touch that boy. Yeah. Don't, yeah. You better not put your hand on that boy. Look, um, I wanted to say something right first before we get back to Donald Dugate. Um, to remind everyone that you could see some of the latest shows and some of the earlier shows that we've done. You could see it on YouTube. Uh, just look under DAP, TV, DAP Ministry TV show, and then you'll find past shows. and. You might be looking at this show online. Yeah, you do that. We, 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 we want to emphasize that. We want to thank God for you because mm -hmm. you, you did do that. You initiated that, that we can, uh, our viewers can not only watch us on TV, but you can also watch us on the Internet or, or YouTube. And, and mm -hmm. great job, outstanding uh, uh, segments of Making some, of, for, the, making some, some, some of the work. <laughs> some of the work when he's our own location, some of the work that he's been doing. So we thank God for him as well. Um, I got an announcement that uh, what, uh, a supporter of, of Union Baptist College Theological Seminary, uh, we've been fortunate that there's, there's there are churches that are opening doors for a lot of our students. Mm. And uh, uh, this third Sunday at 6 o'clock at uh, Greater Asia on uh, St. Bernard and Sears Street, they will be doing a, a ministry program where they allow two of the students that are, that are preachers to come out that, and yeah. preach. Come on out uh, and, 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 and really engage these young preachers, encourage them, uh, but it will be happening at 6, uh, 6 p.m. this Sunday, and you'll have an opportunity to see the wealth of some of the students that are uh, matriculating through the, through, through the, uh, the university. Uh, again, we, 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 we were talking to Donna, we were asking her some of the things that their organization does, and, and we want to, again, thank you for, for reaching out to the seniors. We, we appreciate that because sometimes it seems like the uh, seniors are, are forgotten, mm -hmm. misused, mm -hmm. abused, and taken for granted. We should, that, that, like I said, that, that should be the, the pinnacle of what we do is show our appreciation to older people yeah. that have led the way for us. So I, I want to commend you on, on your effort in working with seniors. Some, some people say, uh, uh, and, and that interaction is, is so good. I think if more young people get involved with seniors, right. there would be a better quality young people because they will appreciate, like you say, the wealth of knowledge, mm -hmm. but but the compassion that they have. And sometimes even more patience. You know, when you talk about the parents and grandparents, that's the first thing I thought about, the patient, you know? Because, I, I mean, I can't speak for all parents, but I've heard many parents say, Paul, get out my face. Huh? <laughs> get out my face, you know? But the grandmother say, come here, child, you know? <laughs> Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe it happened to me. I don't know. It's a boy got out my face, but then you know, was grandparents were saying, "Come on, let me read to you." Yeah, you probably like want that. you probably want to look at Johnny Quest. <laughs> <laughs> and you're right too. Hey, I got a question for you <coughs> coming up. We know that um, you talked about the Super Bingo that's going to be coming up in November at the Central City. Central City represent. <laughs> but uh, what what other things you have? Either either local. coming up or local, or even if it's out the city. Okay. Well, we have. 
We plan on bringing four centers to Louisiana. We have three centers up open right now. We have Mid City, we have Kenner, and we have Gretna. Mm -hmm. So we work all over. We work in Jefferson Parish as well as Arlene's Parish. So uh, we have several events coming up, but one of the bigger events that I have is in Kenner. We're doing, um, we're working with a senior center. And we're going to provide a Thanksgiving dinner for the seniors. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, yeah, so awesome. That, that's great. And we also. Um, doing which we want to do something with Central City as well because it's one of the larger centers right. but we try to work with as many centers as we can it's just me and my partner Mikhail so it's a little difficult for us to reach everybody so if y'all do see this please reach out to us because we would love to help out yeah well your, your contact number will appear on the screen so they can get in touch with you uh, the other thing is you, you, you're talking about uh, starting another location I, I know you you don't have any control over that but in, in, in your view what would be the best location in New Orleans? Well, we the next location that's already coming is Metairie, but we also want to go back to New Orleans and do more because, like, for instance, in Virginia, they started with four centers last year. This year, they have eight centers. So this company expands at a rapid pace. Okay. So I would love for them to go farther uh, east, so New Orleans East, Gentilly, because there's so many people that can be served in that area. And we ha when we had our grand opening, I made sure that I, I let that be known to our CEO that we have a lot of people that one and they, they are open to, to doing that that's good. so we want to get these these centers successful and we hope that we can move it out further so we can serve more people and that's the number right there four five three two nine oh nine yes that's right it. right right and, and so you already established street but you're working on the fort when the fort one is coming it will be in metairie and then uh, probably you, you, you want to be comparative to uh, uh to to the other center in virginia and have at least eight eight, eight. online yeah. yes yeah. and that's in two years they got eight centers wow yeah yeah, they, they started in Miami, and then they went to Virginia, Kentucky, Louisiana, and then they're going to Chicago and Atlanta, so they're, they're moving further west. I, I have to say this as an outsider, mm -hmm. but I'm more or less, because of the way you presented it, feel like I'm a part of it, even though I'm not. I would say that, number one, the need is there. Yes. That, you know, you want to have senior citizens, you know, the only way to stop being a senior citizen to die young. Watch it, watch it. <laughs> but, you know, you, you're going to have that. So, I, I just see the need. Now, on the other side of that, we know that ministry is meeting the need. And so, I look at this like a, in a sense, a ministry that is meeting the needs of the senior citizens and everything. So, mm -hmm. I tip my hat, I say, God bless you. And I, you know, say, you know, that's a good thing because a lot of quote unquote businesses are in for themselves. But, as far as this aspect is, aspect is concerned, I can see that this is helping the seniors and everything. Yes, they, they really do. Well, the, the, the next thing I want to say is, for those that are watching, mm -hmm. the availability of you going to their churches, their, their uh, other locations, uh, are you accessible to them? Yes, I'm very accessible. Just, just give me a call and we can get something scheduled. Mm -hmm. And if I can't do it, I do have a partner, Mikhail, who also goes out with me. So we'll be able to reach whoever calls. We, we, we might even talk to our association. Yeah, yeah. yeah Watch it. Now we might put you on the spot. Yeah. We, we, we have an association meeting on the first Wednesdays of each month. Okay. And once we find out when the next meeting is, <laughs> <laughs> I should know, but I don't have my schedule in front of me. I don't have my All schedule right. in front of me, but we'll show up, put you down. And I'm pretty sure the president would allow it. And there are other organizations that we're part of as well. Right. And uh, I'm sure that they would like to hear that information because we are uh, interrelated with a lot of organizations that, that deal with churches. Mm -hmm. And with those churches, they have seniors in, in, you know, in, right. in, in their membership. And so definitely they, they hear about this. And, 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 and I, the, the, the worst thing that happens to people is when they don't know what's going on, then they miss the information. Yeah, they no. miss uh, the help that that's necessary from to you know if if they're sick they can they they don't have to be sick. I think somebody was even talking about, and I think this October is the month of, for uh, for yeah. cancer, breast, breast cancer, cancer all kind of cancers right. for for uh, for females. But mm -hmm. uh, that should not stop men from being interested about cancer. Right. A lot, lot of people think that uh, only women can get breast cancer, mm -hmm. and that's not true. No. Uh, men can get breast cancer too. as well. Yes. And so since, since you're alerted to that, then why not get a checkup? Why, why not just do a, a screening and find out more and more information? Like, like I said earlier, just getting the information out helps all the citizens oh, yes. in the city. It really helps us because uh, a lot of people, they don't know where to go. They don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. In most cases, they, they, they can get into a critical or chronic situation of illness. 
And you said the key word, they're chronic. Right. That, that, when it becomes so habitual that it becomes a chronic situation. You know, it's one thing to say, do it once in a while, but when it becomes chronic, it's almost like um, doing it because it's so much of a part of you and everything. And I like what he said also about the misinformation. You know, we're giving the information out, and we don't want you to miss this information because by missing it, it would be a loss. But we had your number up, and we're so glad that you gave us all the things that you need that we need to know. So I guess if I say this in a proper perspective, it gives me something to look forward to when I'm 65. Well, look, look, <laughs> you, you, you got me excited about that because I can remember yeah. growing up about 15, 16 years old, and uh, you, 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 I'm not gonna say you, nothing. You, no, you, you say you didn't have a draft card, but but right. when, when you when you got your draft card, that indicated that you were a man. Yeah. For us, it meant draft card. I mean, we can go in the bar rooms now. <laughs> <laughs> and when I made 18, went into a bar room, I said, "This is the big deal." Right. Uh, oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah. It was like it wasn't that exciting anymore. Mm -hmm. But but. The, it was a bill up, the right. bill up to, oh, when I get 18, I'll be able to go in the bar room. <laughs> Went into the bar. Is what y'all make a fuss about? Mm -hmm. God, I don't understand this. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that, that, that's, that's the kind point. of thing. Yeah, I'm that's serious. That's the kind of, uh, uh, I, I had a letdown. I had a serious letdown because I, I realized and said, okay, 19 <laughs> is coming. So after that, you just get older and older and older. Oh, yeah, older, older. And, and so, but, but the good thing about this is when you get into those the, uh, senior years, it's, it looks good to get older. Mm -hmm. now, I got a question now. Think about it because you said something good. And I say this as the second to last question. Now, we're talking individuals or are we talking, like you said, centers? Um, it's I a usually, combination of both. I usually do groups. It's, okay. it's groups are always better. Yeah, groups yeah. are always better. I'll do individuals. You know, it really doesn't matter. Just as, uh -huh. so long as I'm getting the word out and we're right, spreading, right, the, right. spreading the news. Yeah, but groups, they, they well, carry I'm saying, much. I'm, they carry I mean, more. When I'm going to say individuals, I mean, it's like, okay, since they're part of the center or something like that, mm -hmm. they're, they're individuals that come together. So, okay, yeah, that, that answers yeah. my question, both groups and that group aspect works better though, because right, you yeah. carry more. more. We got to go. We, we uh, again, we want to thank, thank, thank God <laughs> for, for for Donna. Thank God for Reverend Smith. Thank God for you that that watched the show. We'll be bringing you more and more information. Uh, we 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 lining up different guests to, to help not only in help needs but also in rebuilding needs. We we know that we've been through some disasters, but the Lord is bringing us through. We always say, go to a church of your choice and worship the Lord. We invite you to come out to uh, True Love Missionary Baptist Church, 2710 Phillips Street. You're always welcome to come. Our service is at 8 a.m. in the morning. This Sunday is our Lord's Supper service uh, starting at 8 o'clock. Come and be part of that worship experience. We just thank God that we can do something that God is pleased with. Uh, so to, to the next time, we just ask God's choices, blessing upon you. God bless you. God be with you. That's our prayer.